What is up everyone, John here, and in today's video I want to talk to you guys about lathering on the puck versus lathering in the bowl. You'll hear people talk about lathering in a lather bowl, or they'll just lather on the puck. Sometimes if they have something like Parasso, which comes in its own little cup, they'll just lather right on top of it and they'll build their lather right up in the cup. Uh, now, it tends to use more product when you lather on the puck. I tend to like the way it turns out better, and soap's pretty cheap. So you, I like to lather on the on the puck personally. But I'm going to show you guys the results you get lathering in the bowl. It's definitely more voluminous when you lather in the bowl. You can control the water a lot better. When you lather on the puck, the longer you go, the richer the cream gets because you get more soap mixed into it. So you have to stop lathering at a certain point once you reach the consistency that you like. We'll go ahead and just jump right into it here. We'll let you see. I'm using the Vander Hagen puck here. This one's about gone. It's about spent. We'll just lather it right up here. And it doesn't take long, especially where you're adding, where you're right on the puck. You have a good amount of water in there. The right amount of water, not necessarily a lot, the right amount. Alright, and this is a relatively wet one. I added a little bit more water than I really should have, so it's going to take longer to lather on the puck. So you got to add, when you're lathering on the puck, you need to add as much water as you think you need to mix up the lather that you need. So, rather than getting the amount of soap that you need, you're adding soap to the water rather than adding water to the soap. So this is getting about a pretty good consistency here. We've just got this huge, it's not really a huge lather, but it's a really good creamy lather. And you end up with really, really fine, really fine bubbles in it. And uh, you probably, I don't know if you can see anything here, we'll zoom you in. It gives you a really rich cream with very small bubbles and it really lasts a long time. You see we don't have a lot of uh, a lot of that peaking and stuff going on. It's just a really thick lather. I really like the way that it that it turns out with that. That's how that's why I like to shave with. We'll zoom you back out here. We'll t let you take a look at what it looks like to lather in the bowl. So when you lather in the bowl, what you actually want to do is you want to go for the feel of the soap. And you want to feel for when the soap begins to drag on the brush. You'll really feel it start to dig in when you get this really dry lather. And at that point, you transfer to the bowl and then you add water to get it to the consistency that you want. So it's a little more fiddly, but you get this really huge lather when you do it like this because you end up with a bit of a wetter lather in the end. So right now it's starting to drag and really bite in. So we'll just transfer this. Normally you wouldn't have this much, but because I've already been lathering on it, we're gonna have a real butt ton going on here. We'll add our water to it. Oh boy. You can see it starts out relatively thin. Holy cow, that's a lot of lather going on there. And we still got a bunch here in the bowl that we can just scoop right out of there. And I'm not even done working the lather up yet. You get a lot of lather when you do this. And it looks really nice on video, but I just, honestly, I don't feel it's as slick because it's got a little more water mixed in with the soap. And I like a, a drier lather. But more water definitely gives you a more voluminous lather, but it gives you larger bubbles. So it tends to dissipate a little quicker too. So it doesn't last as long, but yeah, you can see this is just, it's huge. And we got these big peaks forming on the end there and it's still actually a little bit wet. But uh, yeah, you can see it's, uh, there's a big difference. And you just keep working, honestly, I've went more than a minute now, but you can just keep working it. It'll just get thicker and thicker and thicker if that's, if that's what you're going for. So as you can see, there is a huge <laughs> difference in the lather that you get from a bowl lather versus a puck lather. A bowl lather tends to be a lot more voluminous. It's not as rich with soap, so it's not as slick. Depending on what you like, you might, something that's got, might like something that's got more cushion to it and more volume. I like one that's slicker, so I use uh, a puck lather and as you can see there's really not much volume to it at all there's not much cushion to it at all but it's really slick on the face and i think this is a more comfortable one that protects me better from these really sharp astra blades and this well maybe for the blades that you use maybe for the way you shave you might like something with a little more cushion like this so give it a try you might end up liking this you know i like the puck lather you might like bowl lathering but yeah you get these really big <laughs> Really big thing hanging off there. Really big lather when you do a bowl lather. And it looks really impressive on video. It's good for showing off the soap. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave it a like down below. And subscribe to me if you want to see more videos like this from me. And I'll see you in the next one. Later.